ATP is the most important compound that the cell uses to store and release energy. ADP is formed by the releasing of phosphate groups from ATP. This results in the release of energy that is used for biological reactions. Myofilaments are bundled together to make a myofibril. They are ultra-microscopic, thread-like structures found in myofibrils. Sacromere is a contractile unit in a striated muscle fiber extending from one Z disc to another. The actin filament are two-stranded helical polymers of actin monomers. Rigid filaments form core thin filaments in muscle cells. Myofibrils are bundles of a very fine fiber that almost fills the sacroplasm of a muscle cell. And finally, myosin. Myosin is a contractile protein that is thick and located in myofilaments. They are motor muscles that use ATP to pull actin termed thick filaments. are at rest. The myosin and actin strands don't touch, but they really want to. Specifically, the myosin head wants to bind with the actin. For this to happen, the actin must overcome the protein bodyguards, tropomosin and troponin. Luckily, these guards can be bought off with calcium and ATP. The calcium latches onto the protein troponin and causes it to pull the other protein, the tropomosin, away from guarding the active sites. The myosin heads grab a molecule of ATP and break it down into ADP and phosphate. When a myosin head does, by the time they bind and form a cross bridge, the myosin releases all that stored energy and in the excitement, the myosin changes shape. It pulls on the actin strand, much like pulling on a rope. That process shrinks the whole sacromere and contracts the muscle. Now with its energy spent, the myosin head has no use for the ADP. The unbinding of the myosin head from the ADP and phosphate causes a small change in the myosin shape, which lets a fresh ATP bind in its place. That binding causes another shape change, but this time it causes the myosin to release from the actin. Step four. This is when the myosin breaks down its new ATP into ADP and a phosphate, which moves it into the armed position yet again, getting ready to form the next cross bridge cycle. These six stages identify the chemical changes in the muscle that cause the body to stiffen. With this understanding, forensic pathologists are able to estimate the time of death.